Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Welcome back to the big broadcast. We are coast to coast. We are border to border on iHeartRadio today. AM, FM, 247.com. Tune in iTunes. And, of course, you can find us each and every day over there at JiggyJagwire.com. Lots of things happening, as they say. Get a hold of us online at JiggyJagwire.com. Stuff, stuff, stuff everywhere. That's pretty much my life at this stage of the game. Good God. But I still look fabulous. Get a hold of us online at JiggyJagwire.com. You know... Lots of things are going on. Lots of things are happening. We're in a pretty good mood today. Uh, I've, I, I've, I've made time. I've given time. We're having time. I'm not doing time, which is good. Get a hold of us online at JiggyJaguar.com. I felt like Alex Jones with the whole InfoWars.com, InfoWars.com. Go over to InfoWars.com. PreWorld.News or whatever the fuck it is. So Jesus, the aliens, and the Kansas State Fair, we have a video that we put up on our website at JiggyJaguar.com. I believe it's on the YouTubes as well. The YouTubes! It's on the old YouTubes! Jesus and the aliens! Jesus and the aliens! (laughs) Amazing, amazing. By the way, leap of faith. Is that on Pluto TV? Can I can I can I just look up Leap of Faith on Pluto TV? Cause the other day I watched a little bit of the end of uh Leap of Faith. And I'll tell you, Leap of Faith is quite the show. And I don't know. If Crystal or um oh the fuck's her name Brittany that's her name um <laughs> I don't know if they've seen Leap of Faith Leap of Faith is quite the movie uh Steve Martin where he was gonna go be a a preacher he was a he was a preacher on the side of the road or whatever i'll have to look this up later i don't have time for that crap now but um leap of faith good show but jesus and the aliens at the kansas state fair so i go to the kansas state fair and at one point i bypass this booth where they were giving away horseshoes basically what they were attempting to do was they were going to recruit people to their church And so I go through there and they wanted you to, you know, they'll give you a horseshoe. You sit down and they give you a presentation and then they give you the horseshoe. So I went ahead and said, okay, I'll sit down for presentation. Can I film them making the horseshoe? Can I film the presentation? So we sat down there and they've got five or six people, you know, they're getting ready to make this presentation. They've got, you know, an older couple there and there's a woman and, and there's this older guy, and then there's the guy, and then there's, of course, Jigman Freud, the master debater of the cunning linguist, the admirable iteration. Of course, I'm going to say that intro during a conversation about Jesus. So we go ahead and we do this. And at the end of this presentation, this guy's got these, got these you know, little gimmicks, these little props that he brought with him. So he gives this presentation. At the end of this presentation, (laughs) which is amazing to me, he he asks everybody if they have questions. And of course, not a lot of buddy, not a lot of people at this thing had questions. They just wanted their free horseshoe and to get the hell out of there. But not this old man. This old man was sitting there, and you could just tell this old man had nowhere to go. He had nothing to do. He was hanging. So he sat down there at this thing, and he goes, what about the aliens? There's all this proof about aliens. 
what about Jesus and the aliens? So this guy's like, well, I'm not really talking about aliens right now, sir. I'm talking about, you know, the Lord, Jesus, saved, and all this stuff. And the guy's like, well, how about them aliens? It's it's quite the deal. I'll have to say, you need to get on our website at JiggyJaguar.com. You need to go find that on YouTube. I believe it's on my personal YouTube account at YouTube.com slash JiggyJaguar. Jesus and the aliens is what I called it. So, we are going to do this. We are going to take a brief time out. When we come back, we will be chatting. Uh, we're going to do some chitty chatting, as they say. I don't know who's saying it. I don't know why they're saying it. They are indeed saying it. So, we are going to be chatting with Rick Cole this hour. He is not to be confused with Kane and Cole from the Harlem Heat. Does anybody remember the Harlem Heat? Kane and Cole. Kane and Cole. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Since, 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 since nobody knows what I'm talking about, I guess we'll play the song. This will this will get me a copyright strike, I would assume. Out of the uh out of the old YouTubes. Cole, Cole. <laughs> Harlem Heat. Remember WCW Harlem Heat? Okay. Well, that is that. We are going to take a timeout. Be back with more on the other side. 